My introduction to Dr. Gina Westmoreland came in 2006 through the Sanford Presidential Search Committee. After meeting with Gina, I had every expectation that she would excel in the First Lady's traditional role as Executive Director. Let me just say first that Gina is a remarkable person. Gina is someone who thinks outside the box. She urged us to try new things, and as I thought about the word try, it seems like we didn't just try it, everything we did uh, succeeded. Gina has what I consider a gift in the ability to identify what I would call leadership potential. She can see it where it's obvious, but she can also see it where it's not so obvious. She is very intelligent, but very down to earth with people. She's very organized. She's very creative. She has a lot of wisdom and foresight uh, in leading the organization forward. She's inspirational enough in her leadership that once you agree to do something, she doesn't just shake your hand and give you a task list and say, good luck. She offers support, encouragement, enthusiasm, wisdom, and yes, friendship. In our planning meetings, we used to talk about wanting the Legacy League to be the it organization that everybody wanted to be a part of, and it is. Everybody wants to come to the Christmas home tour. Everybody wants to be invited to and included in our events and our meetings. Gina is a woman of deep faith and prayer. Prayer for each member, each event, and each student is a priority. Gina was the driving force behind a shift in both the scholarships and our programming. Gina's heart is so much for our scholarship students because of her mother's college experience. Gina's mother's journey to college so much reflects the hardships that some of our students have faced and it has given Gina a real connection to our students. Gina, this is real to Gina, the need for scholarship the, um, of the disadvantaged, those that, that wouldn't get this opportunity otherwise. It's a real passion of hers and many, mine and many of them on the organization period. These students don't just need help. They are in dire circumstances and they can't even dream of getting a college education at any college, let alone Sanford University, a private college. As a result of being the president of Gina as our executive director, it was just a wonderful time in every way. We logged in more volunteer hours than I could ever imagine possible. <laughs> it's real eye-opening to me the compassion that she has for them and the energy that she brings to everybody to want to promote the Legacy League, increase the scholarship dollars, which greatly increased uh, as president for me uh, when I was president, and to increase the participation, which has been phenomenal. She's very loved. She's my best friend. She's a really great friend. So we all love her and she's, she served so well good and faithful servant. I pray rich blessings on my precious friend in her exciting civilian years and as she continues to serve in our city and in our community. I am so grateful for all the gifts that our God has placed within Gina. Her faith, her wisdom, her discernment, her encouragement, her teaching, and leadership have all been invaluable to the growth and the ministry of the Legacy League. She is a phenomenal mentor with a wealth of experience and knowledge that have all been valuable assets as we have sought to focus on scholarships and a holistic approach to meeting the student needs. It has truly been an honor and a privilege to impact student lives by providing them with suits as they pursue their careers with both courage and confidence. We love you, Dr. Westmoreland. We treasure your friendship, passion for students, and wisdom in developing leaders 
to ensure that both the Legacy League and our scholarship recipients have a bright and vibrant future. We love you, Dr. Westmoreland. Thanks for your service to the Legacy League.